I was like, you know, jazzer girl. And I had I had heard her singles singles on the radio like at the gym, but not right. the albums really. What? Also, also, I remember only one I did know was everybody get up, dance, and sing. And in the hood, mm-hmm. we thought she was black. Mm-hmm. So that was the main thing for me. It was like, oh, this is the girl who does that. That's that's what I really knew more than anything. Right. I mean, I do remember when, you know, Madonna first came out. I know there was that thing where people really did think yeah. she was black before they saw the album cover. Right. That was 83, right? When yeah. everybody came out. Wow. 1983 was the first album. So, I mean, like, for you guys, you know, the Who's That Girl tour, like, you had been working and doing your own thing, dancing, but, like, for, you know, arenas that big, like, were you nervous? Like, did you realize what a big deal it was? Like, what was it like to play, like, arenas that size? Like, I assume for the first time. Yeah. Uh... I I was nervous about just because I came in not as late as Nikki, but it still was, like, cramming to learn a lot of stuff. And then they would add more well, we're gonna put you in this and da 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 da. So the end of what is that song? My main thing was my, I could never remember what arm went up at the end okay. of the song, and, and I was, was thinking like to that, myself, like, is it right or is it left? Yeah, my thing yeah. was I was always used to doing like you know, especially for Disney, it's like you have to change the show up real fast, and I was used to Vegas. Mm-hmm. It's like change the show. What do we need to know? Let's do it. Costumes quick, fine. Yeah. I was okay with that. It was not even so much the crowd. It was. I had never been in a place where I felt like, okay, this is kind of dangerous because we had these. There giant, were so many giant, elements we didn't have control. Yeah, of. the bu- the, bl- the weather, uh, the weather, costumes. The, um, the, I just remember the mini blinds coming at us, which was yeah, like yeah, yeah. and that was of early knives on. Yeah. coming at us. And I remember like, yeah, <sighs> and just knowing like in a week I'm going to be in front of people that, and I'm standing on a treadmill. I was like, okay, yeah. you know, it, with what if heels, it rains with heels yeah, with a it was tight. Crazy. Faux leather dress on that yeah. mine actually on that first show like popped open wow. in front of the audience. And I remember was being so in Miami and it was like wet and, and you're we like, to you. yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think it, no, it popped happened to Deborah. It never pop, popped up on me. No, I had nothing to pop thought, open too. <laughs> I thought another costume. It might have been like um, maybe, Spanish one or something. Maybe a Spanish open on stage. Yeah, the, you know, I they, just, they were always opening. Yeah, wow. and you had to like change your choreography to keep it on. I know, of for course, sure. It was just I had never yeah. felt like. Like I said, out of control of stuff that way. Just where I was like, okay, one small, you know, trip and you're, it's over. Or a blow wind of, you know, blow of a wind and all of a sudden your face is like with these things coming at you. Yeah, I remember looking over at Nikki and seeing those blinds come towards us and thinking, yeah. like, why do we have to be so close to them? Mm. And at the same time, we don't know if we could be seen or not. Right. I because we're not the, supposed to be. A myth can tell a thousand. <laughs> I'd learn my... Yeah. Just waiting for the blind to come into your face. Wow. Kind of weird. Yeah. What were rehearsals like, you know, leading up to, like, not just Who's That Girl, but you guys have been on so many tours. You know, you hear so many things throughout the years of, you know, like, oh, God, Madonna's a perfectionist. <laughs> and, you know, if you <laughs> mess up and, uh, you know, you just, Madonna has that reputation of being an absolute perfectionist. Like, were you yeah. shocked at the level of intensity? Were the rehearsals as bad as everyone says? Which or tour? Is that folklore? Yeah, which I mean, tour? everything was, you know, the vantage point is is different from your perspective is different from each tour. I remember it's like we went from twenties into our forties. Yeah, exactly. With her. And so it's how like old you are too. What yeah. what happens when you're twenty four is different when you have to when you're forty two. So right. it's like it's like and the way you feel about it. You know, so yeah, I, for me it was like, geez, I had to dip down deep into my dancing days, you know, and like, okay, because mm-hmm. I was like I said, I was I was just playing on Sitting on a stool, singing a pretty song, and it was like, "Oh no, here's the here's the life cycle that she's gonna make you be on every day of the day," you know. But you did it. You really like. I look at some of those old videos, and I mean, you're. I keep telling It's incredible me. to I watch just, her dancing, and I, just, I really. Both I'm, of you. I just yeah, remember her pushing, blown away, pushing, 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 and thinking to myself, "I." Re- and these words actually still come up in my head as 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 being a, a woman of a certain age now. She would tell me, you know, Nikki, you've just got to create your own little world. You just have to do that. If you're, you know, if you're going to make it through this and not be injured or you just, you just have to create your own little world. And I was like, and sometimes that's what you have to do to protect yourself. If you know you've got this, this goal you're trying to reach. And it's, and it's very much like an, an athlete. You know? Yeah, absolutely. We'd get, it's we'd be like getting into shape for the tour. So I remember being on the 
life cycle and singing at the same time, for instance. Right. And you're just – and then going, getting up in the morning and, and going to work out in the gym of the hotel, mainly my legs, so I could have the strength to go up the stairs and everything when I was out of breath – and you learn really quick what you have to strengthen with your body and how you have to sleep and what you have to eat and everything because you're And I had cheered an and been gym, done gymnast work before, you know, all through high school and my first years in college. I was always doing, yeah, I could flip and stuff, but I never approached singing that way. I never thought that I had to use that kind of muscle memory for singing. And then mm -hmm. when you incorporated both of them together. And then, like I said, with the whole fashion thing and none of that, all of that was Greek to me. Cause I was like, you know, put a black dress on, sing some songs, right? You know, no, no, we're going to, we're going to put you in this encapsulation around your waist and try to make you breathe while, you know, while doing, you know, major steps and, you know. It's different than the Righteous Brothers in Vegas, right? Wait, it's different than, it's, a, it's different than yeah, Anita, it's, like it's different than Michael Sabella. It's, it's, yeah, and I mean, like I said, the only thing I could compare it to was like Disney shows where it was like tons of costume changes, making sure everything was just right, you know, that kind of thing and lights. and. But at the same time, I knew that I had a break, you know, whereas we were so young then she was still doing shows. I remember like doing four one time and it was like, OK, that's all we we cannot. She never did five shows in a row, but four was enough. You know, yeah. it was like. I mm -hmm. don't know how you do this. So when we started getting a little older, I was like, okay, two here. Take a break. Take a break. Exactly. It really Didn't changed. Yeah. I remember by 1990 working with Vincent Patterson, we, I feel like we were so inspired by the work. And so when they'd say, do a handstand on a chair and sing at the same time, I feel like we, we took it on like it was such a great challenge. That tour. Did you feel that way? Are oh, you talking about the um, Like ambition? the different... Yeah, Blonde Ambition. Well, Blonde Ambition was like We were doing world. different routines, and we were so into it, I feel I was, like, creatively. Didn't you feel I that? I was so inspired by being around all these, what, what felt like kids to me at that point. Because I remember, mm -hmm. like, they came yeah. to my house, and we'd make lunch, and they were they were like young boys to me at that point. Right. And and knowing that they were believing in me and believing in, in what we had, for, for them, they were looking at us as, like, the veterans. Mm -hmm. And so it was like, oh well, we gotta we gotta step up for this. We can't just like pussyfoot around, you know. If they're if they're doing it, we're gonna do it too. And I remember some moves that like Jose and Lewis were doing. I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. please, you guys, really, we're gonna do like ah, ah while we're singing. Okay, yeah, I guess we're gonna do it. Um, so they their their youthful energy inspired me, mm -hmm. you know, and because they were um, what's the word? Organic. Um, Urban dancers, mm -hmm. as, as it were, they had a mentality. I was like, "How do you guys go out to every club, every city that we go to? How do you, how y'all doing this?" We you were know? doing it too. Oh, okay. at that point, I, look, right? I, I, I'm let you know right now. I couldn't. I maybe went out a couple times with them, but they could par and then do a show. I was like, "Right, because yeah. no, we were at that point. We were taking naps, girl. Well, we were in Paris at the cafe during.